It's been a minute since the last time I showed you guys what was on my Nintendo Switch, so that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna take a look at what I've been playing over these past couple of months and whether or not I think it's worth your while. What's good, people? I'm Tawan X, and this is Crazy Dope Tastic. <laughs> Now make sure to subscribe below and hit that notification bell right next to it so you never miss an upload. Now, it's been a minute, people. I try to do this every single month to give you guys an idea of what I've been playing, what I'm into, what I think you should probably check out. And the games I'm sharing with you guys are actually in addition to the games that I've shared in the past. So if you wanna see a lot of the other games that I've been playing in the past, you can go ahead and check out the videos before this one. I'll leave a link to the playlist below. First up here, we have got Rocket League. Now, if you haven't heard of Rocket League, you've probably been living under a rock. It's a guilty pleasure of a lot of people. I know people who've been hundreds of hours. It's like soccer, but you've got these rocket powered cars that you use, and there's a whole lot of strategy involved. There's a whole lot of physics involved in understanding the physics of Rocket League, and it's cross play between the Xbox One, the Nintendo Switch, and the PC version, which is really, really dope. Next up on my list is a game that I have, I think I've almost put in 100 hours hours in playing, which is ridiculous considering the type of game it is, but it is Picross S. It's a puzzle solving game. It's really a, a great time killer, a time waster. Yeah, it's just a fantastic game. There are a lot of challenging levels. There's Mega Picross as well to give you even more challenge. So if you're into puzzle type games, this is a great time killer, time waster. I love it a lot. Next up is the Lego Ninjago movie game. My homies over at Warner Brothers sent this to me for free, so shouts out to them. Now, I was not a fan of Lego City Undercover. I thought it was really whack. I was bored with it. The Lego Ninjago movie game is actually a, a little bit better. Basically, it's an adventure Lego game. If you play Lego games or if you know of Lego games, you pretty much know how it works. It's very funny humor uh, mixed in you know, with a pretty decent game, and that's pretty much what you get here. I played the game for a little bit. It's pretty fun. If you are a person who enjoys Lego games, this is definitely one to check out. Next up on my list is Fire Emblem Warriors. I actually picked up the collector's edition version of this game. I, I unboxed it. I will leave a link to that in the description as well. Kind of falls in the same vein as Hyrule Warriors, but you know, instead you got a whole bunch of Fire Emblem characters this time around. Yeah, it's a fun game, you know, hack and slash type thing. There's a story element involved as well. Check it out if you're a Fire Emblem fan. Otherwise, it's a decent game. If it goes on sale, if it drops down in price, I'd say pick it up. If it drops like 20 bucks or less, it'll be worth it. Next up on my list is Stardew Valley. This has finally come out on the Nintendo Switch. It's been available on pretty much every other platform for a long time now. It's a fantastic game that I haven't put enough time in yet, but it is a simulation role-playing game. Basically, you have to manage crops, manage your own farm, you get into relationships and whatnot. It's heavily inspired by Harvest Moon. Definitely think you should pick it up if you're into that kind of thing, if you're into that resource management type of game. It'll, it'll be worth your while. Next up, we've got Night Terrace. This is basically an endless runner game where you're trying to defeat your foes, jump over obstacles, avoid things and whatnot. It's pretty fun. It's by Nicholas. I like a lot of the content they create. And it's only like five bucks in the eShop. So yeah, it's definitely worth it. And next up, we've got Kamiko. This is another 2D action adventure type of game. It's a pretty short game. I believe it's only like five bucks as well in the eShop. Definitely worth checking out. It's got a little bit of a challenge to it. It's definitely worth the price of admission. Also on my Nintendo Switch, it's not really a game. It's an app and that is Hulu. We finally got some media playing apps coming to the Nintendo Switch slowly. Slowly but surely, starting with Hulu, hopefully we get stuff like Netflix and YouTube and Amazon Prime sooner or later. But I'm excited to have Hulu. I am a Hulu subscriber, so yeah. And finally, on my Nintendo Switch, we have Super Mario Odyssey. This has to be one of my favorite Mario games ever. One of the top five games you can purchase for Nintendo Switch, period. Of course, Super Mario Odyssey is an adventure game where you are playing as Mario, trying to rescue Princess Peach from Bowser, who basically just like made her his concubine and is trying to marry her against her will. So you as Mario have to save the day. Oh right, yeah, feel free to add me on Nintendo Switch. My friend code is in the description. I need friends. I accept every friend request. Let me know what games you're really into right now in the comments section below especially if it's something i haven't named i know there are a few games that came out that i don't have currently and i'm finna go back to playing odyssey thank you for watching crazy Notastic. make sure to leave a thumbs up below i drop videos like this all the time and join the lunatics over on patreon where your support helps me make more content like this oh yeah and remember to stay crazy peace